The purpose of this eye presentation is to introduce you to how electrical signature analysis can be used to evaluate the mechanical side of an electrical motor system. My name is Richard Scott and I will be your narrator during this presentation. Altest Pro is based in Old Saybrook, Connecticut, USA. We are a manufacturer of motor and generator testing instruments and have been business since 1983. The motor system is made up of the following. The facility power distribution system includes components such as implant wiring and transformers. The starting, control, and drive system includes the motor starter and adjustable speed drives. The motor itself, in this case an AC induction motor, but could be a DC motor or a wind turbine. The mechanical coupling refers to components like belts and power transmission devices. The mechanical load refers to the driven equipment such as a pump, fan, compressor, or conveyor. The process is what's being accomplished, such as water pumping, mixing, etc. Common mechanical system faults between the motor and load due to wear and application include belt or direct drive misalignment, belt or insert wear, belt tension issues, and chev wear. The load can have numerous types of faults depending upon the type of load. The most common are worn parts, broken components, and bearings. Motor system faults, whether related to incoming power, motor electrical or motor mechanical, mechanical coupling, or the driven load, all will have unique signatures when using electrical signature analysis techniques. Therefore, with a little bit of information about the motor and motor system, Relevant fault frequencies are identified and the entire system can be evaluated. CF equals center frequency, RS equals running speed, and LF equals line frequency. Current and voltage waveforms are collected and then via a fast foray analysis the technician is able to evaluate both the electrical and mechanical condition of the motor or generator system. In essence, the motor is the transducer. This chart illustrates the various parts of a motor system and the analysis capability of electrical signature analysis. Green indicates that a developing fault can be both detected and trended for predictive maintenance purposes. Yellow indicates a fault can be detected but may be difficult to trend or cannot be detected at its earliest stage. One of the primary operations of the ESA software is to perform a root mean square demodulation process on the power line carrier signal to provide a highly sensitive and selective means of extracting current signals from the motor load. This demodulation of the raw current signal removes the large line frequency component to permit a much improved signal to noise ratio for components causing demodulation like running speed, belt passing, gear meshing, etc. Numerous indications of performance are revealed within the time and frequency domains that provide the required information to determine the health of the motor and the impact of the delivered load. This permits actually seeing the true running speed, motor slip frequency, gear mesh frequency, drivetrain components, and gear rotational speeds. To separate the various frequencies, a fast for a transform is used and the resulting frequency spectra is displayed on the screen. The peaks in this spectra correspond to the rotational speeds of the different components in the machine. For example, in the case of a fan driven by an electric motor through a belt, the peaks correspond to the motor speed, pull pass frequency, fan speed, and belt speed. If a gearbox is used instead of a belt drive, then spectral peaks will appear at the rotational speed of the gears and gear meshing frequencies. Successful applications using ESA include AC and DC motors, VFD applications, generator, alternator, gearboxes, pumps and fans for reliability testing, commissioning, and troubleshooting. At minimum, you need to enter motor nameplate, voltage, current, running speed, and horsepower or KW when ready to do the analysis. However, nameplate data is not required during the data collection process. 
some systems will we require you to use a calculator to manually determine various mechanical machine frequencies. A modern ESA system allows you to enter mechanical system information so the analysis becomes quick and easy. Our software allows the technician to enter information about the mechanical system and then relevant fault frequencies are automatically calculated and the software provides cursors for locating these frequencies within the spectrum. Driven Equipment drop-down box allows you to analyze belted, geared, and bladed equipment. Note that mechanical system information is not required for motor electrical and mechanical analysis and is only relevant when there is a need to analyze the mechanical load. As an example, here is the low frequency data from dust collector fan 1 that is driven by a 150 kW, 400 volt, 260 amp, 1485 RPM induction motor. Note the peak labeled BLT and this is the belt frequency. The belt frequency is the speed of the belt. Additionally, there are multiples of the belt frequency and these are shown in both spectra. The lower spectra shows the line frequency peak and that there are sidebands on either side of the line frequency that are at the belt frequency. This is a typical signature for a system in good condition. Note that the belt frequency is at 4.3 amps and the motor current is 220 amps. The pulley fan speed, which for this machine is 31.6 Hz or 1900 RPM, is also shown in the spectra but not in the view shown here. A sister machine called Dust Collector Fan 2 was also tested. Note that the motor load is lower than fan 1, 194 amps versus 220 amps, yet the belt frequency is at 8.3 amps, whereas fan 1 had a peak of only 4.3 amps. From this initial test, we cannot conclude that this is a serious problem, but instead this is a warning flag that something is different about this machine compared to the first. As this data was taken during the detection phase of the predicted maintenance work process, the next step is to start the analysis phase. As part of the analysis phase, the technician made a visual inspection of both machines and noted that the belt with fan 2 has excessive belt movement compared to fan 1. The next step is to do some additional work, which may include taking additional data with electrical signature analysis or bringing in other instruments as part of the analysis phase. We will discuss this additional work in our next I presentation. The electrical motor or generator makes an excellent transducer when using electrical signature analysis. ESA evaluates incoming power, the motor electrically and mechanically, plus a driven load. Three common phases to predictive maintenance include detection, analysis, and correction. Electrical signature analysis will improve the detection phase of your predictive maintenance program because it allows the technician or engineer to quickly evaluate the entire motor system from incoming power through the driven load. The whole purpose of the detection phase is to identify as many machines as possible that are failing. The data collection process using ESA after the electrical connections are made takes about one minute. Moreover, there are permanent connection boxes that can be installed so the electrical panel does not need to be opened in order to collect the data. The collection box not only allows fast, accurate, and repeatable data collection, but also protects the technician from potential exposure to an arc flash event. I hope you have found this information interesting and of value, and for additional information, contact, via, contact us via email using info at alttestpro.com or go to our website, alttestpro.com. We have several white papers and application notes about electrical signature analysis that you will find helpful, and they can be accessed via our website. Thank you for listening to this presentation.